Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of the Keg Tab. Today, we're brewing Grapefruit Pulpin. Northern Brewers take on Ballast Points Grapefruit Sculpin. Northern Brewers Grapefruit Pulpin, their take on Ballast Points Grapefruit Sculpin. I was expecting plenty of hops. As you can see, I got plenty of hops. I also got tons of malt, and some grapefruit peel along with it. But primarily, I got hops. Brew day began in a typical way. You add two and a half gallons of water and heat it, getting it ready for steeping. Dumping our grains into the muslin bag, we begin to steep the grains and turn the water into work. Steep the grains until the water reaches 170 degrees. Once we've reached our desired temperatures, then we take the grain bag out and drain the liquid into the kettle. Bring the water to a boil and then add your liquid malt extract. Take the kettle off the heat so as to add the malt extract and keep it from burning or scorching inside the brew kettle. Return the wort to a boil and add your first hop addition, Chinook hops. After 40 minutes of boil time, add half an ounce of Cascade, half an ounce of Chinook, and the rest of your liquid malt extract into the boil. With five minutes to go, add another half ounce of Cascade and half ounce of Chinook into the boil. Add flame out, or at the end of the boil, you're going to add your last hop addition, that's one ounce of Amarillo and half an ounce of Chinook. Take off the heat and put it in the ice bath. As we cool the wort, we're going to add two gallons cold water into the primary fermenter. Once the wort has cooled, pour it into the primary fermenter and mix it with the two gallons of water in there. Here I use a refractometer to measure my original gravity before adding the yeast. Take a temperature reading to see if you've reached below 78 degrees, then it's time to pitch the yeast. As I pitch the yeast, I add it to the top of the wort, cover the fermenting bucket, shake it to aerate it after adding my airlock. Take it to a nice dark place and let it do its work. About a week later, we're going to move on to racking it to secondary. Once we've completed the process of transferring the fermenting beer into secondary, then we can begin to dry hop. Okay, so now that we're done racking, it's time to add the hop additions. We're dry hopping now and throwing in a grapefruit peel. Here we go. I'm going to take the hops and the grapefruit peel and vodka mix that I created earlier, and I'm going to dump that into the carboy. That is going to be our dry hopping. It smells good. You can see the look of the hops doing their work as they spread out in the beer. I added a foam stopper and tin foil on top of the carboy to keep any air from getting in to the beer. And this puppy's ready for secondary. Soon, we're going to move this to the keg and it's going to be pouring. Beautiful. Just a moment, I'm going to go ahead and start racking this and we're going to go. I remove the foil, take out the foam stopper and insert my auto siphon, pulling the beer back into the keg. So what we're doing now, we're gonna close this thing up, we're gonna put it in the kegerator, we're gonna force carbonate it. And I can't wait to try this out. And I wanna thank Northern Brewer for sending us this awesome grapefruit pulp and batch. I can't wait to drink this thing after I put it in the keg and force carbon. It's gonna be delicious. 
I'll let you know as soon as we do that. We'll have a follow-up video. Guys, thank you. Cheers. Rock on.